Hey everybody, it's Rick with Stumps, and I'm back today playing Subnautica. And I should be starting this episode in the aquarium, but instead I'm starting it in the SS Driftwood, and there's a good reason for that. I recorded an episode where we started at the aquarium, and I did some aquarium biz, but then that episode got ruined. I completed the episode, I went to edit it, and uh, the footage was ruined. So, here I am again, starting out on the SS Driftwood. But, the thing is, I already saved the game. I saved it. So, the, the damage is done. What I did in the last episode is done. I can't undo it. So, I'm just going to catch you guys up with the events which transpired in the last episode, which was supposed to be released, and then we'll just continue on like it never happened. So what did we do? We cleaned up the aquarium because we brought in all those invasive species, those non-native species to that shallows biome, and they weren't having a good time. They were swimming against walls, trying to escape, desperately trying to escape. So I just helped them out. I went ahead and I gathered them up and I let them go like a cat that you brought in from outside, which you immediately regretted. You were like, I'm sorry I brought you home with me. Please leave now. And uh, and we're better for it. What else did we do? Uh, we cut down on the stalker numbers significantly. You know, I might have overdone it a little bit with 30 stalkers. 30 stalkers might have been a bit much. And also, while I was trying to get rid of the non-native fish, they kept attacking me, which was getting real old. So I uh, used my propulsion cannon and I fired them over the wall. I cleared their numbers out, and uh, I think we're down to a much more manageable number. I think there's like two stalkers now, which is much better than 30. After that, I got a little stressed out with the aquarium business. I set out to build an aquarium to relax, but it was just too much stress. So I set out to the island for a little island getaway, and here I am now. At the island, I'm underneath it, as you can see. We'll go ahead and exit the SS Driftwood, and I'll show you. I took your guys' suggestions, and I recolored the SS Driftwood. Oh, it's a little bit too dark down here to see, so I'll bring it up to the light of day so you can actually see what color it is. And there were a lot of good suggestions, I want to say. Uh, I liked the idea of... The black on black, that would have been really cool. Uh, how come I can't find the entrance? Is it nighttime? Is that why? Is it so dark I can't see what I'm doing? I think that's exactly what's going on. So I like the black on black. Uh, I thought that would have been really cool, but it didn't really get all the votes that it needed. So black on black... Uh, it is not. Also, I like the black and purple uh, theme, and I think a couple other people liked that idea too. But again, it didn't have the popular vote. What most of you guys said I should do was a stump color, which is what I did. I did a brown and a green stripe, and it is nighttime right now. Let's see if we can see by the light of the moon. Kind of. You can see... Brown and green, and the brown looks reddish in the light, but it is actually brown. I assure you. I assure you that it is brown. All right. And in the distance there, you can see what we got to work building. And that's our island getaway. So let's go ahead and get up there. And I'll show it off a little bit. Island getaway. Let's get away. Island time. The water seems so murky, doesn't it? Is it just me, or is it just way crazy murky? All right, there we go. That's better. That's better. Where's the, uh... Where's the little cove? Where's my cove at? There we go. I think I see it. Yep, there it is. Dead ahead. Let's bring her in nice and easy. Come on. Like a pro. Here we go. Come on. It's like that uh that docking scene 
in a Starship Trooper. Remember? Where what's her name was like flying, or no, it, she wasn't docking, she was undocking, that's right. Starship Troopers, come on guys, you know the movie I'm talking about. A good dog, a uh, good dog is a bed, a good dog is a bed dog. A good bug is a dead bug. A good dog is a bed dog? What's wrong with my head? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm recording this at one o'clock in the morning. All right. Let's get up to our island getaway so I can show you guys what we've got going on. I brought some supplies with me. I've got some glass and some titanium so we can do a little bit of maintenance while we're up there. We'll expand it out a little bit because we've got a pretty good start going. You can see right here, I used the terraformer tool so that we could get up the mountain, but it's still kind of a pain in the ass to get up. Got to find the right path. There we go. I think I'm getting good at this. Getting good at finding the right path. There we go straight up here we go and we're at the bottom I had to build a series of ladders to get up so we'll go ahead and climb these ladders all the way up there's a few more there we go and voila we're at the top now so it's unfinished I still got some building left to do but I'm gonna build a balcony here and you can see what a view right breathtaking view of the entire island I love it. This is going to be super cozy. So let's go ahead and get to work building the rest of it. Build a corridor here. Corridor here. And let's see here. We're going to build T section right here. Perfect. And a T section here. And. Let's see. I'm gonna do a. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna build an X section right here. That's what we're gonna do. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Let's go ahead and disassemble this. Super. And X corridor here. I'm gonna do that because, as you can see, we've got this little area hanging out here. So I'm gonna build an. L shape here and then another L shape here come on come on L L there we go and finally we'll go T right here and then oh shit shit reinforcements 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 temporary reinforcement right here Woo, that was close. Okay. Okay. It's all good, baby. All right. Here we go. We'll build a hatch here. And go inside. So I'm going to need to find... Yep, there we go. There's where the rupture is at. Go ahead and repair that real quick. And we'll need to beef it up with reinforcements in certain places. Where I think I'm going to build the reinforcements... Oh. Another spot right there that's breaking up. Anything else that I can spot? Okay, everything else looks pretty good. All right, we're in business. Like I was saying, where I think I want to build the reinforcements is in these hallways down here, since they're going to be out of the way and not so noticeable. Come on, get down, climb down. There we go. I really hope in one of the updates they address the fact that it is a pain in the ass to find that sweet spot to climb down ladders. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm out of titanium. All right, we'll need to make a trip. Uh, let's go ahead and take that apart. I do want to build at least one window before we go get more titanium. It's just so I can see the view. Yes! It's so awesome. I love it. I love the view. I'm never going to get sick of seeing that view. All right. We'll go back to the ship real quick and stock up on some titanium, and we'll be right back. All right, we've got our titanium, so we can keep beefing it up a bit. Okay, so I've already built a reinforcement there, which means that we can build a window here. That's what I wanted to do, because we've got a view here. And if you've got a view, why not... Take advantage of it. 
which means that we just went up and let's see reinforcement was that way so we're gonna do another reinforcement here and a window here there we go another window with a beautiful view that mountain reminds me of Diamond Head in Hawaii. Not that I've ever been there, but I've seen it plenty of times in the movie pictures. Go up. Up, you ding dong. I could probably get rid of this now. I don't need a hatch right here. Gonna do one more reinforcement there, though. Okay, we've got a whole strength of 20, which is pretty good. And this is gonna be where the prime view is gonna be. Let's build windows here. And window here. We can even build windows into the skylights, because... It'd be nice to see the blue sky. Oh, I'm out of glass. Uh... Okay, finish that. There we go. Pretty blue sky, which actually looks a lot like the blue ocean. Except there's a gigantic sun up there. Moving slowly across the sun. We've got to finish building the inside, too. So, see if I can do that from here. I think I can. If I build a X corridor there, perfect. Never done this from the inside before. There we go, but it seems to be working just fine. I think I need another one here. Beautiful. And then one here. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep. Okay, complete. Got a few windows left to place. How's that view? Just a view of the ocean. Which is fine. How are we doing on glass? I think I've got enough to build one more window. Is there even a spot to build another window? I think I've built windows in all the window ubble places. Actually, I could build a window here. This was going to be temporary anyway. No! Oh! Oh! Just kidding! <laughs> going to build a reinforcement over here. Perfect. And now we'll swap this reinforcement out for a window. And we'll call it good. There we go. Windows and all the window spots. And we've got our nice balcony where we can go and enjoy some fresh air. Alright. Not a bad little island getaway. I, I, I could be happy here. I hope you guys like it. Whoa! Okay. Let's just take the shortcut down the mountain here. Let's go, uh... Let's go from the other cliff. I just want to get a good shot of it from a distance. There we go. Let's climb up this cliff here. Yep. Let's terraform. There we go. That's how we do. No respect for nature. Just tear it down, man. Just tear nature down. Bend it to my will. Finally, I made it to the top. It was harder than I expected. Ugh, get up. There we go. Whew. Oh, but it was worth the view. Okay. You can see this island, and you can see there's like paths crisscrossing it, I swear it looks like some kind of animal inhabits this island. Those definitely look like trails, don't they? Those things wouldn't have just made themselves. See, there's this trail too. You can see there's a trail around the island. Who made those trails? I want to know. What a night though. It's a beautiful night. We don't get to enjoy the evenings like this from underneath the water. It's kind of nice. Having my feet on dry land for once. 
All right, let's go. Whee! Okay, so we've seen my island vacation home. So that's awesome. That's there. I don't know if the trees are supposed to be that pretty or if they're just bugging out or I'm just tripping balls. One of those things is happening. Let's get back down to the sub because I want to end this episode by checking out what's underneath the island. I just want to know what's down there. So let's go ahead and pull out the sea moth. Go a little exploring. I want to find out what kind of biome we have underneath us and see if there's any resources down there. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and redock. I better eat before I go on an excursion. I can't go excursioning on an empty stomach. Let's pull out some, uh, let's see. Oh, I think that there was some fish in there. Yep, I still got tons of fish. Okay, I've got an air sac there. Got a couple hoop fishes. Uh, which one has the best? I guess hoop fish will do just fine. And I should have some salt in this one, I think. I know I got salt around here somewhere. There we go, salt. That'll do. Now let's make some cooked. Oh, I can cure fish now, too. Okay, that's interesting. Oh! Apparently I could cook fish now. I have, I, well, what do you know? I've been doing it like a dummy. I've just been curing fish when I could be cooking fish. All right. And lastly, some water. All right, let's eat and drink. That'll do. That'll tide us over until we're back from our expedition. All right, down we go. So what do we got down here? What do we got? All right, so far so good. Nothing too interesting yet. Going down pretty deep, 250 meters, and it looks like, what is this? What kind of biome is this here? Ah, okay, a Grand Reef. Grand Reefs are pretty boring, actually. Is this one any different from the rest? Yeah, this one looks a lot like the last Grand Reefs that we've been to. Not too much happening here. What do we got down here? Just a... Bupkis, whole lot of nothing going on down here. Well, shoot. Just kind of hoping for something more exciting than just a plain old Grand Reef biome. Still a little bit more poking around. Huh. Well, that's anticlimactic. I don't know what I was hoping for. I know that there's lava zones. Maybe those are down a little bit farther. I haven't really stumbled across too many lava zones yet, but, you know, other than the fact that lava is awesome, uh, I don't know what it would have to offer. Quite honestly. I don't think there's any life in a lava zone. Right, what do we got here? Oh, no, wait. What's this? This kind of looks like coral. Right? Like, I guess that's kind of interesting. What do we got up here? Let's Go up a little farther. Okay, we got some sand there. Okay. Anything of interest here? Yeah. Maybe it's just a boring old nothing. Hmm? Maybe there's just nothing cool happening down here. I don't even see any resources. I don't see any fish. I don't see nothing. Lame. Lamesville. Wait, this is kind of cool. Wait, what is this? 
Wait, what it? This looks like a structure, doesn't it? Like, that could be a house. It's kind of cool. Like, hmm. Yeah, like, that could totally be a house, right? Like, look at, there's even, like, flat floors. This is kind of cool. Like, it reminds me of a, like, a Pueblo in the American Southwest. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool, right? What else is there? Is that another one? Wait, there's another one. Oh, this one's super tall, though. Wait a minute. Whoa, what is this? Oh, I thought the other one, it was just like, coincidentally, it looked like a house, but this totally looks like a house, right? This is... Or like a building, a structure. It's definitely a structure, right? Like intentionally built. What the hell? Definitely. Look at this is... There's a floor? In little rooms? Oh, crazy. Okay, I can't explore too much because I don't have a ton of air. I forgot my air tanks in the driftwood. But, oh my god, look at this. This is, this is kind of incredible. Those are definitely windows, right? Let's go ahead and swim through them. Oh my god. These look like the remains of an ancient civilization. An ancient alien civ- Ancient aliens, guys. Is that what this is? What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is evidence of life on this planet? Either past life or perhaps life that still exists somewhere else oh man this is really tripping my shit out you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think i think ancient aliens maybe a hint at what's going to be coming up for this game oh man i don't know uh i'm gonna have to come back down here and put a beacon here because i don't want to lose this place and i yeah here's some more some more structures there's like a row of them oh kind of cool I'm I'm geeking out here guys but I think that's where I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode of Subnautica uh, I hope you guys liked it uh, I hope you guys are enjoying watching Subnautica because I'm enjoying playing it what should I do in the next episode is the question I've built an island getaway I've got the aquarium which we'll return to because I've got to take care of those stalkers and those fish they're not gonna feed themselves well, I guess the stalkers can feed themselves with the fish, but then who's going to feed the fish? The stalkers? No. Uh, we've got the Reaper Leviathan still that uh, I can't kill, but somebody suggested I go back and try to kill them. I think that that's crazy talk. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you guys. What would you like to see me do? Would you like to see me uh, build some more things? What do you want to see me build? Uh, do you want to see me explore some more? Where do you want to see me explore? Uh, just give me some good tips until the next update comes out. And uh, I'll go ahead and take your feedback into consideration. But until then, I've been Rick. You've been watching Subnautica. I'll see you guys next time.